Okay, I wanted to show you something. Uh, 16 or 8-bit DOS uh, retro gaming on the Mac, on uh, Leopard and Tiger. Uh, what do you need? Well, you need Boxer. You can see uh, I have punched up the website. Uh, just download this and uh, and install this. It's uh, it's um, it comes with a built-in DOS box uh, emulator, and it uh, it's really easy to configure. It's uh, it has a smart game installer, and uh, it's it's very easy to get all these old DOS box uh, games up and running. Uh, so uh, let let me show you what uh, what it does. If you install it, uh, it'll in your user directory, uh, it'll create a game, a, a directory, a folder uh, called DOS games. If you click on that, uh, then you have this icon, drop games here to install them. And um, the games directory, there is actually where all the games are. So what what do I do? This, this folder uh, contains the Arkanoid game, the DOS Arkanoid game. And you just drag it on top of the DOS box, and what and what happened is that the the Arkanoid game is uh, created, and this this is actually um, this actually houses Arkanoid, uh, and if you double click that, it just boots up the uh, the game Arkanoid like so, and you just uh, keyboard and you can put it uh, in full screen by, uh, whoops, by uh, pressing alt enter but let's uh, let's quit it because what's really fun is if you create a custom icon for this and uh, you have to use the image to icons uh, um, program which is also available on the web and um, you can find it over here. I didn't didn't register it, but it's uh, uh, but it, it works nonetheless. This screenshot is just a JPEG or a pen uh, PNG, and it creates this uh, screenshot. And I want to create it on the desktop. Uh, and uh, perhaps rename it but okay so if all goes well there's the Ar Arkanoid screenshot okay what else do I need to configure it well I open up the properties of the Arkanoid and I open up the properties of this one and I just copy and paste so you have a double clickable Arkanoid game, which is actually quite quite cool. And uh, yeah, let me show you what I what I created. Let's throw away this because this games. Oh yeah, I can I can browse through it. Uh, these are all the games that I've created this way. All these old DAS games, are just double clickable. So there's tons. <laughs> Let me go to the other uh, the other few and show you a couple. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, for for a couple of them, I haven't created the uh, the special icon yet. Uh, for example, Zool. So I guess this is a correct game. But here we have Zool. Let me see. Yeah, some some need have joysticks uh, configured, and I have not um, attached a joystick. But Xenon Two is was also available on the uh, on DOS. 
you get the option option to configure the game and after that it's just run run it if you want to so this looks very much like the uh, Genesis Mega Drive version only the sound is different okay let's show you something else there's this whole oh, Iridium yeah it came out on PC as well most people know this from the uh, from the Commodore 64 let me see if there's oh yeah I configured it as well this for joystick as well I guess yeah so okay let's sh let's show you something else um, we'll just go over this uh, yeah Sophie Perhaps I have to do some some reconfiguring. Um, yeah, Quake Quake runs. Okay. Well, because I'm because I'm running it off the uh, of the screen and recording the screen at the same time, it's a bit slower. But this normally usually is very smooth. Okay, let's show you something else because this this obviously works. Uh, <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. There was a PC version as well. EGA Super Graphics. Um, yeah, the old Commander Keen series for is is, is available. Um, yeah. Dark Forces, great game. This is just a demo. Great game. Quit to dance. Yep. Okay, so there's all. Oh, yeah, Castlevania. <laughs> it was available for dance as well. It's all there. <laughs> okay, I'll finish this off by scrolling through the entire range of games that I have created. And it's quite fun uh, to uh, run this on, uh, on my Mac without the need to configure and reconfigure or without the need for the command prompt. So uh, yeah, very much worth uh, checking out I guess. So uh, 